Now I'll tell you what, youngster, you know, books are very important. We grew up with magazines like Famous Monsters of Filmland and Fangoria and Starlog. They're books with a lot of pictures. But you see, the pictures tell all the words. But there's another thing that are books with no pictures that you tell stories, and that's where stuff comes from. Guess what? I met. I met an author. Her name is Jessica Lynn Gardner. Check her out. She's right behind me. There she is. Isn't she amazing? Look at her hair. Now, she might look like an innocent, pretty girl who wouldn't cause any harm. But you know what? She knows all about monsters and werewolves and zombies and vampires, don't you? I do. Don't you? Do. Show us your book. Show us your book. Show us your book. Okay. Look at this. This one's Darkened Horizons. Look at that. Issue three. And my story in here is called Not a Chance. And it's, by, it's about werewolves and all kinds of scary things. And then I have Creeping Shadows. This is my novella, brand new. It's all on um, Amazon.com. And this one. This one's about a special monster, and it has to do with voodoo. A special monster rides the short bus. Yep, <laughs> and it's voodoo and all kinds of other scary things in there. Wow. So let me ask you, when did you start reading and writing? Oh, well, I was actually the first kid in my class to learn how to read. Would that be kindergarten? <laughs> yes. And so she goes way back. Yep, uh-huh. And uh, since then, I always read anything I could get my hands on, and um, still to this day, I read as much as possible. And I started writing professionally about two years ago, but ever since I was little, I would I would read and write as much as possible. Will you write me something? <laughs> sure. Cool. Well, you know what? We're going to have her tell us a story here. I'm going to bring the whole gang in in a few minutes. But uh, So uh, what, what's your website that people can go check out? It's jessicalyngardner.com. Right on. You're also on uh, my book and face page and yeah, MySpace and, and Facebook and all those great places. You right. just type my name in Google and you'll find it. Find us some really good vampire werewolf stuff that's going to scare us, and I'm going to go round up the gang. Okay. There weren't any stars, but that was okay because the moon would have blotted them out anyway. It was the hunter's moon, close enough to touch and tinged slightly with red. Kevin was trembling. You never had a plan, did you? If it weren't for, he paused with some difficulty. For them being dead, then we would have been caught. What could have done that? I don't think a human could have done that. Sean wasn't listening to his rambling. Mm. It's me hey, again. Hi. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. We are going to listen to some freaky stories of this lady. Anybody like to get scared? Y'all like to be scared? Buzzard, oh, yeah, yeah. buzzard, buzzard, buzzard. Oh. Not right. so much. Right. Yeah, Buzzard likes to be scared. All right, I'll tell you what. What do we got? What do we got? What do we start off with? Okay, we're going to start off with um, Not a Chance, and it's in Darkened Horizons 3. Not a Chance. That's mm -hmm. my kind of, <laughs> sounds like my kind of chance. All right, I'll tell you what. Uh, everybody ready? Listen to some stories? All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right, we're ready. Out of the corner of his eye, he saw a tall, dark shape step out of the trees. The kid turned at a painfully slow speed, fear gripping his thin and gangly with tufts of matted ivory fur which was missing in some places, revealing yellowed, stitched human skin underneath. Walking on two hind feet, each digit complete with sharp silver claws, it stopped in front of them, the moonlight splashing on the snarled jaws. Kevin backed away, nearly tripping himself, and looked desperately at Sean, who couldn't tear his gaze from the creature. Their gaze was locked, the deep amber chestnut eyes of the monster, and the measured blue of the man. The growling quieted, and it started licking its chops. No! in the dark dale behind it began to come closer, but one sharp growl, and they remained in place. No, you can't be my Tabitha. She's gone. His voice was thick with an unspoken threat of tears. Go back to your forest, demon, he said, turning back to it. My Tabby is no more, and I'll not have anyone or anything defile her memory. The tears were no longer waiting and leaked down his cheeks along with the memory. It freaks me out. Uh -huh. Anybody else uh, freaked out by that? Raise their hand. Oh yeah, I got a weak bladder. 
wanted to pet it. Yeah. That's just disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> it's the were was it a werewolf or a wolf man? It was a werewolf. Ooh, what's the difference between a werewolf and a wolf man? Well, werewolves turn into wolves and wolf men wear clothes. Yeah, there you go. Ah! Yep. Only when, only well. Hmm. They're always hairy. <laughs> what if it's a woman? Well, that, actually, this was. It was a werewolf. Werewolf woman. That freaks me out. You got, you got more stuff? I do. Do you want to hear oh, another Hold on, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. I got to sit up for this. Oh. All right. Anybody want some fries here? Let's all have some fries here. I'll share with everybody. All right. Read us some more stuff. Okay. Another Read story. Fetch. Good boy. This is the best part. Especially with the <laughs> grease all soaks in there. Anna reached the bedroom first. She felt the presence before she saw it and could smell the sour, burned odor. What kind of presents? Christmas presents or birthday <laughs> presents? Turned odor wafting from its decayed body. It watched as Nana opened the long skeletal jaw, nearly unhinging, until it was just a gaping throat. This time, it wasn't blurry or ethereal as it had been before. It was right there in the putrid flesh. Putrid! <laughs> she had a horrible realization that this simply wasn't a wayward spirit. This was a monster. Who? Monsters! Nana looked around nervously, and Anna realized that she couldn't see it. To her, it was simply a poltergeist, a cold breeze against her neck, and a flash in the corner of her eye. Anna's heart leapt, and her body felt rigid. Go away, she thought desperately. Please go away. Please. <laughs> the creature's yellow eyes suddenly fixed on her, as if able to hear her silent plea. It grinned sickly, the canines poking sharply from the bony face. Then it disappeared. Where did it go? Let's freak it out! Gaping Where's that? The guy with a water gate. What's a novella? It's a shortened version of a novel. So it's, it's a only female about... version of a novel. There you go. Novella. <laughs> 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 <Yeah, laughs> <yeah, yeah>. yeah. <laughs> now those are good freaky stories. They are. You read them to your friends. How many of y'all were freaked out by that one? Raise your hands. Raise your hands. I don't freak easily. You don't freak easily. <laughs> Sasha freaks easily. Wait, look over there, Sasha. I'll show her freaks her out. Watch. 